All right, so this example is a little thought exercise, which is based on some photographic evidence that a student sent me a few years back. And in particular, in this picture, what we have is a photo of the Formula SAE car on a test track outside of the football practice facility here at Purdue. And if you actually magnify the image of the rear wheel of the tire, what you'll notice, and I'll pan down here so you can see this, is that it's actually quite easy to read uh, the text that's here at the bottom of the wheel, namely you can see the Y in the Goodyear, uh, but you actually can't make the um, model of the tire out at all near the top. And the question here is, could you provide an explanation for what this is? And uh, the conjecture that I want you to think about is whether or not this no-slip contact that we're used to discussing in class might be an explanation. Well, if we believe the no-slip conditions that we've talked about thus far, we would assume that the point on the bottom of the tire is actually has zero velocity. In other words, we would say that an instantaneous centers there. If we know that is true, we could say that the velocity of any arbitrary point then on the tire, or more accurately the speed, would be proportional to the distance away from the instant center, a distance I'll call r, times the speed of which the tire is rotating, which we would assume in this case is nominally constant. What this means, of course, is that we can draw lines of equal speed by measuring equal radii away from the instant center, and that's what I've tried to highlight here with these white lines. Of course, what this means is I move to the top of the tire, which I've indicated here with a blue dot, one would expect the speed to be much higher than, say, for example, I took a point down here, as I indicate, with the green dot. This seems to be very consistent with the drawing, where we note that the speed is increasing dramatically as I move up and away from the instant center. And so, and in fact, we can see here that the roll without slip condition is actually a pretty darn good one for a tire such as this, and can provide some explanation of phenomenon that maybe we notice even as youngsters. It's good to know dynamics works. Take care, everybody.